previously on the Great American Road Trip. The Coots began their winning streak in Springfield and weren't afraid to celebrate when they won a second challenge in Carthage. I guess proof's in the pudding. We're going home with another one. So today, everybody's heading their RVs to Independence, Kansas. Italians don't go to Kansas because they got flying houses that land on people. Get ready to click your heels, kids. We know road trip randoms. You might recognize their state, state song, Home on the Range. You know the song? Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam. This house here definitely took a beat. Check this house out. Amy. I see it got hit by a tornado. Or Twister, or whatever the hell comes out of the sky you. here. When Syl drives the RV, he tends to turn and look and want to see everything that's going on. Make a left. Look these houses, man. Syl, make a left. This house definitely Syl, got it. The... Wait a second, Amy. This house the, definitely the, got it. The mailbox! I see it. You didn't see it! Relax. I'm relaxed. Make a left. You're making me violently ill. Don't be ill. Make a left. All my life, I wanted to see Kansas. I'm finally here. I get a chance to see a prairie. Always wondered about a prairie from the song God Bless America. Now we're gonna see a prairie. And the sky is not clouded all day. That's not true, it's cloudy. Where are you folks hail from? New York. New York? Well, I heard I've been reading in the paper about the Brooklyn Bridge they're building. We don't go to Brooklyn, we're from the Bronx. What are these cooking over there? Macaronis? Oh, look, they were making raccoon soup, and that's really gross. Looky what I found, Ma. <laughs> we have raccoons in New York, but usually they're in garbages. So I never really seen a raccoon in the daytime, especially on someone's head. Now, I've dug this water well here. It's a vital part of living out here on the prairie, is have a good well, a good water well. Did you do it by yourself, or did you Yes, I dug the whole thing by myself, but I'm going to get your dad. We, we need to dig an outhouse. Right, you don't understand. Uh, Tell them, kids. Mom's the one who does this. I do everything. He does nothing. <laughs> Being here in a little house in the prairie is great. You must be the postman. I got to come back here and tell Mr. Ingalls to teach his wife how to build a well. Bye-bye, folks. Enjoy Kansas. So it says low fuel. Amy, it doesn't say low fuel. It's just... Look at it right there. There's nothing that says low fuel. Sylvia, so look at it right there. I can't look. If I look down, we'll crash. Sylvia, so if we run out of gas, I'm, I'm off. If we run out I'm of off. gas, I'm off. I will put it in neutral, and you will push us no. to the gas station. I'm... It says low fuel. You didn't even look. We're going to run out of gas. You have nothing to obsess over, so now you're obsessing over fuel. I'm not talking to you, because I asked you to pull over and get some gas. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. There's a gas sign right there. Good. Get Come off on. and get it. I'll slow down. Throw yourself out. You're funny. You know, you're so funny. Dad, you're pushing the RV. See, and now because I asked him to get gas, he's not going to stop and get gas. And then if we run out of gas, he would have said, Amy, why didn't you tell me we had to get gas? Amy, we got to get gas. Guys, I want to welcome you to the beautiful Red Buffalo Ranch. Woo! This is today's King of the Road Challenge. Each dad is going to have 30 minutes to cook up a batch of burgers. You'll have to grill the burgers and dress them. Go ahead, buddy. Uh... Does my dad really have to cook the burger? I never cooked in my life. <laughs> can I at least cook it? I think I can do a better job than him. Well, every dad's got to cook a burger. I want to have a heart attack because my dad, I don't even think he knew how to turn the grill on. Don't worry, kid. I just want to change my mom and make him look like my dad and just rush her in and pretend to be my dad. I hate to say it, dad, but you're cooking. Just don't Moms, over it. Out. Let's get this going, all right? And don't make him too sick. Give me some more tips, quick. Just don't overcook it. How do I know when it's cooked? A little bit of pink inside. Good luck. It was my dream to come to Kansas and see a prairie. It's my nightmare that I came to Kansas to make a hamburger. 30 minutes starts now. It was a blur. Blur. I never looked at a spice in my life. I don't even know what the hell I'm looking for. <laughs> Where's the garlic, man? And then I saw this giant, beautiful apple. And I says to myself, eh, the most that could happen is that I get a nice apple out of the deal. 
Balsamic. I don't even know what balsamic vinegar is, but I know that I had it before. No idea what I'm doing. I'm not gonna let my family down. I'm just gonna cook a hamburger. No cheese, none of that crap. Just a hamburger. These are the first ever cooked hamburgers by Sylvia. I'm gonna make myself a hamburger. I figured I got enough time to make my little own Bronx burger. All right, Dad, your 30 minutes is up. Coming into this challenge, I was actually more nervous about throwing up than actually losing the challenge and going to the end of the road. How's it taste? I nothing. I love beef. I said 10. Burger B was the one that me and my mom both liked. It's delicious. I would actually be really surprised if you made that one. Oh, I need a Zantac. Burger B. Described by the Favorites as having no flavor, <laughs> oh no taste, and dry. <laughs> but by the DeSalvatores, as delicious. I knew it. What can I say? It was delicious. This burger scored only 24 out of 60. And that burger belonged to the DeSalvatore. <laughs> we know each other. I like my hamburger. And my family like my hamburger. We stick together. Together we stand, united we fall. But now for the winner, the Coots. <laughs> Everyone is a little tired of the Coots winning all the King of the Road challenges. Good job. I'm not really surprised that I won the challenge, so good for us. I'm going. I'm a little down right now. My family's in the bottom three. Tomorrow, we take on the Favries and the Ricos for the End of the Road challenge. Hopefully, one of them will go home. I wanted to surprise my family by straightening up, mopping, and organizing everything, just lighten the burden on everybody. This way, our trip will be a lot less stressful. Silvio with a mop, that just don't happen. But you know what? This is all about my family. It's not about when I go back, what people are going to say, because I don't care, because everything is about the Salvatore family. It's time for my family be proud of me. I'm stepping up. After Silvio lost the King of the Road Challenge, he was down in the dumps, but he seems like he's picking up, he's in a great mood, and he's starting to help a lot more. I'm excited. We're in the bottom three. We have to go to the end of the road challenge now. I got you in the situation we are in, and I got to get us out of this situation, and I got to stop looking backwards because I'm driving that way. You nervous? You nervous? I'm nervous. More like anxious. Me too. I'm worrying about the outcome more than the challenge itself. Either way, we're still going to be a family, right? I hope we get through to the next round, you know? We should be in Amarillo in no time. Today, the challenge is to get everything that's bigger over there in Texas. Go! Next. Go, go! Check out them boots, man! Come on, Bush! Go, go, go! Come on, touch the barrel! My child, move! Why is it in here? That helped Blake! Where is he? He has the barrel! Get on there with the head! Get in there! Come on, Blake! Where's the head? Right here! It's in, it's in here! Get in! Put it up here! Up here! No! Up here! No! Up here. No. Oh, I can't watch this. Get in! Over here, Dad! Over here! This is... Get in! I'm in! Don't, don't, don't. I'm on! How do you guys think you did? I don't, I don't know. know. Well, let me tell you. Congratulations. Your journey will continue. Come on, grab the kids. Let's go.